Hey everybody, okay, this is Army NG Boy 07 kicking it back. Alright. Uh <laughs> it's been a little bit uh since I've gotten back on here, uh, as you can see by the dates. I don't know if anyone was noticing that or not. But uh I recently went through a mental breakdown some time back. Or a couple of days back actually, my bad. And uh just trying to get back into the groove of things, so let's get back into this and uh See what we can do. Looks like I have to talk to this douche. Awesome. Ruga's appearance reminds you of a well-used practice dummy. I don't know, I think he could use a little bit more beatings. In my opinion. Still, he smiles as you enter the cell alongside Oddleaf. You look pleased with yourself, considering you failed. Why shouldn't I be? What was the king? What was it the king said? I'd never set foot in Arbore. Now look at me. Is there anywhere safer in the world? Ooh, let's see here. Let's see. Ooh, what do I want to say to this kid? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not here to talk about you. I'm not here to talk about you. Oh! Is there someone else here? Maybe hiding in the food bowl? Look. It's obvious why they trotted you in here. Save the king from Ruga's nasty poison trick. <laughs> Curious that Menders can't do it. But before we talk business, do you play... Tafel. Uh, mm. mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with the board game. Not really, but you know. Then you know it's not about a game. The secret to Scott Tafel is that pawns and kings are just details. It's about being able to see further ahead than your opponent. You know that sinking feeling when you're looking at the table and the game's not over yet? But you know it's over. You've got to just sit there and keep playing. Have you gotten used to it yet? Tough words from someone riding in a prison cell. Think harder. While I wait safely in this cell, my loyalists gather strength and numbers. They're preparing. Minoff's life is mine to save. If I let him die, his support crumbles. His control of Aubrey is over. And if he martyrs me, my men run snarling through the streets, wolves amongst your sheep. Who will prevail? I think you'll find us far from a sheep. The truth is that not everyone wants to be swaddled and told everything will be fine. My people are not willing to put their lives in the hands of a weak king, trying to make sure we all die. Equally, fairly, the list goes on. See, to them, you're not just wrong. You're the enemy of freedom. The freedom to make their own decisions. Believe this. Anything you throw at me will come back to you twice as hard. Is that a threat? Looking at things backward as usual, oddly. I can't work for you if you'll just be reasonable. What are you prepared to do for me? Mm. Mm. I want to beat Ruga. I want to beat Ruga so bad. So, so bad. Mm. You only do this to take advantage of Sleepy. Ah. Fine, what do you want? 
just the throne. Tell Minoff if he steps down, he lives. It's that simple. The whole room suddenly shudders, screams pierce even the thick walls of the cell, and oddly lifts herself up to look out the small prison window. Rook, we need to go, now! At the walls, it's... What is it? No, it's a giant! A fancy hook thingy. Okay. Well, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Who to send to take on that? Um. Crud. Uh, how much for now? Round now, do I? Well, I have 17 right now. Shoot. What? He's got 10 points of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Pick that up that up. Everything else is good. Alright, we're gonna put the rest in that up. Okay. Um, how's about... Okay, he uses... What, what type of weapon does he use? He uses an axe. Right? Ignore. Come here. Uh... Too. Well, oh, really? Uh, well, um, something about willpower. So, oh, crud, did I just? Ah, oh, shoot, my bad. Ow, stop that. No. Stop that. Confirm. I still have one point. Uh, I guess we'll put it into this. What was it? Avoid any killing blow. Or regenerate. We'll do defy. Yeah, defy sounds good. Yep. Yep. Okay, so he's set to go. Um, anyone else have points that I don't know about? Seriously, Ned? Why didn't you tell me? Well. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't use her ever, so it's just... There we go. Anyone else? Oh gosh, you're kidding me. Well, we might as well just put points into every single one of these guys. While I'm still here. Take this guy into battle with me. Oh man. Okay. Oh, no. Uh. Da, 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 da. Do I? Oh no. We need that and that and yep. Okay. What do you mean heroic title? Did I not? I have a heroic title. What are you talking about? Title is awesome. I am Death's Messenger. <laughs> Alrighty, let's just go. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no, 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 wait. We need to get rid of Assault, I think. Yeah, but no, he has a high armor. What does this guy have? 10 and 14. 11 and 15. Ah. Uh, Jeez. Yeah, no, I'm gonna just keep Assault, even though I, I kind of just don't like him. Um. Yep, that should do it. Yep. Well, wait a minute. Eric needs a, an item. Oh, uh, what level are you? Uh, does he not have... Are you freaking kidding? Oh, okay. Uh, how do you get the item off the... I, I can't. Can, no. Ah, there we go. Alright. One strength resistance. Oh, heck yeah. Where's, okay, where's Eric at? Eric! Uh, um, dang it. We'll, we'll put that. Oh, okay. 
Okay, good. I can do that then. Eric, guess what? I've got a lovely little pendant for you. Wait, where is it? Wait, what? what is that? Plus three bird talent, plus two armor, plus two... Oh, heck yeah. Give me that thing. Attach it to him for crying out loud. Jeez. Okay, let's go. Let's ready for battle. To the walls. To the defenses. Uh... My my controller's dying. No. No 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 no. Ah, okay, there we go. All right. Hey, the party's all here. Push them back. Ah, there's there's two no no. Well, we're gonna do our best, aren't we? Yes, we are. I 
Oh, he's going to get Back on. Wait. Back on. No. How? No. Why? Why? Why did you? Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, uh, yep.
Golder armor.
that's a blow. to do that again dang it uh so much for getting that um uh, that achievement oh wait what's going on what's going on over here going back over here. we pull back from the breach in the wall that clansmen and guards rush to hold it you never saw what stopped the dredge maybe other clansmen or armoring guards Maybe they were distracted by easier prey. Oddleaf drags you to your feet. We need a plan! She shouts over the ringing in your ears. Um, oh, the ringing in my ears. What? Gregory cuts you off as you rush frantically to find your clansman. Hero, I just imagined you come this way. Then you did! <laughs> I could tell by your face it was you. Trigby, uh, what is it? This is a poor time to chat. Oh, don't worry. I got nothing to say. Okay, then. Help me find... I do have a question, though. Oh, God. Quickly, what's your question? Have you seen the moon? The moon? Trigby, there are dredge destroying the walls right now. No, that's a sunder. The dredge are just walking right through. I am definitely going to need my luck. Have you seen it? Are you talking about your moon necklace? Trig me! Oh, just speak clearly. What's clear is that the sun never brought anyone luck. Clear as a mug of mead. 
Do you think? I could certainly use some right now. <laughs> now you're making sense. Meat solves all sorts of problems. Big old burly barrels of meat solving delicious problems. The only problem it can't solve is once you've drank it, it's gone. Profound. Come on. Help us fight and we'll share around. So I can ask my question now? You've asked like three or four already. Are we already dead? Ah, uh, defeated by Trigby's line of questioning. If so, I am going to rest my feet. They say walk in another man's shoes. But what if they don't fit? These sure don't. And they're my shoes. It's just an expression. Oh, like, do the right thing, especially if it gets you killed? That's definitely not. It definitely is. I've been told that one a few times. I'm not sure you understand what's happening here. I do, actually. I know what they say behind my back. Not Trigby's handsome. Not Trigby's brave. Those are the words I say to myself. Someone should say them. I know something's wrong with me. I just can't see through the dark and the fog sometimes. In my head, that's why I carried around a moon. Do you know what I mean? I think so. Ha! Liar! I don't even know what I mean, but I'm happy you finally answered my question. Oh, look at that! My necklace was right here the whole time! Ha! Looks different than I remember. Must be my imagination. Huh. Now let's go stab some dogs to death! Dredge. Trick V. Dredge! If we have time. Ha! 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 Again, the black anchor crashes through the wall above your head, stopping in midair before flinging back, shredding and wood. What in the depths? You shout. Grim Titans. Uh, wait, how did I screw it? Grim Titans. Oh, uh, Elio, ushering you toward the rest of the caravan. I've heard stories of a thunder called ruin. You could do, you could do like such things. It tore down the fortresses of old Marl King. Wicked stuff. Wicked stuff. Ali stops. She says, "It pulls out an anchor thing back toward itself, then takes off at a full sprint toward where the Marl are gathered." Come with me! Come with me if you want to leave! <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Screwing up all their accents. Hey, when you catch up to Oddly, she's already mid argument with Hakron and Fessel. For this work, for this to work, we need to cooperate. Slow down. Stop shouting at me. You've been around too long, Hakka. We are. Oh, why are we even listening? God, you're all starting to sound like Ruga. Don't you get it? We either work together or we die. Well, let's see here. I'll uh, uh, hear her out. She's earned that much, yeah. Hear her out. She's earned that much. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. That's, uh, no. Yep. You know what? Yeah. There. Yeah, here we go. Middle one. She expects the Varl to be her beast of burden. I'm not asking anyone to lower themselves. Just work to our strengths. Look. Ruin's shredding the walls with some kind of thrown anchor. We can't reach him from here. 
It made me think of something Ruga said. Everything you throw at me comes back twice as hard. If the Varl gathered every oil barrel, we can find an Arborang and bring them here. We can wrap them up in netting. The next time Ruin hurls its anchor into the wall, Horseborn race along the top and drop the netting around it. And Ruin pulls the barrels back to himself. Herself. Onto herself. Oh, wow, it's a her. Wait, Ruin is a her? Oh my gosh. Wait, yeah, yeah, no! Herself? What? what? Oh, Ruin is Raz's sister. Oh, ask Ingvar about it if we all survive this. Oh, man. Well, that's that's good. To oh, man. Ursa and the other archers are organized can organize a volley of flames, air, flaming arrows down on her. Her and boom. Will that be enough? <laughs> Will that be enough? I don't know. But it beats standing here measuring our loyalties. Sounds to me like a lot of things ready to go wrong. The viral great lovers of fire, if you forgot them. Why haul barrels when we could meet the Sunder on the battle? The field. Whatever. You know, you know what? Screw it. What? Would Jorinder have lowered himself like this in the Great Wars? I won't lie, the battlefield calls to me. Ugh. Why are you, Varl, so obsessed with rushing off to battle? Ever since Basalt showed up, you've been acting like you've got a death wish. Hack on. Bah. This one. You think we are just large men with simple minds? Oh, actually, I, I, I'm a short man with a simple mind, so it's, it's just me that. Uh, <clears throat> I have been alive for hundreds of years. You rush around fearing your short, for your short lives like babies calling for their mothers. Oh, okay, 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 okay. How we live is more important than how long. It is why Einar Toft was so important. It is why we should have made a stand there instead of fleeing for the sake of men. Basil has a poor is a poor diplomat, but he's not wrong. I do not want to heck out a few weeks or a few days cowering behind a wall. I do not want to carry barrels when I could die with a blade in my hand. We are the last of our kind. We are barrels. Uh. Just do us a as this favor and you will have your fight. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, don't throw your life away. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go with the first one. Hack on grunts coming down from his battle cry. If there's a chance to turn the odds in our favor. Used to be harder than steel, Hakon. Now you turn into a lapdog when they ask you to beg. Watch your tone. Things change, Basil. I never asked to lead the bar. Now I have to think of more than myself. Don't worry, then, Hakon. Let me give you a few less moral to me. Basil leaves in a violent mood, yelling abs. Yeah, well. Always had a temper, he did. Is he really turning his back on you like this? He'll come around eventually. Hopefully. I'll miss the, his barrel in the coming battle, though. The rest of us will gather your barrels, but don't get comfortable giving me orders. And whatever you do, don't let that fence of toothpicks fall before my back.
Alrighty, so, uh, wait, I lost 110 varl because of that ordeal. Okay, and then here's the gate. I can really rest. Oh, sweet, I can rest and heal up all my fires. <laughs> wait, what's this? Uh, the market? Are you kidding me? I can go to the market while well, that's being torn down. Oh, that is so nice. What we got in here? We got 38 renowns. Plus 3, all talents, plus 3. Plus rank attack? One break? Plus 20% crit chance. Right? Likey. Me likey. I like all these. I don't like that though. Screw that though. Um, Heroes! Yeah, what heroes do I have? Oh, jeez. Oh, looks like they're all healed. Alright. Um, let's see if we don't have the barrel anymore. Let's get Trigby up here. Come on up, Trigby! 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 Uh, what is this? Plus 20 crit chance, blah, blah, Okay, that'll go to... Oh, she's got the other thing. Crud. She needs that. Because... Oh. Oh, that does the same freaking thing. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, uh, how's about this then? She can have that. Yeah. What does this do? Oh. Oh. Ah, screw it. Alright. Uh, well, wait a minute. Shucks. Are you kidding me? He's got a level 5 item? Uh. Mmm. Get that to Wooden. Alrighty. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What the heck does Trigby have? Oh, Trigby, what do you have? Wait, what happened to that? Trigby's necklace. Oh, I gave it to her. Oh, okay. Alright, 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 yeah, okay. That's cool. Yeah, we're set, we're set. We're good to go. To the gate! Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Yeah, to the gate! <laughs> oh, man. Um, boys are good. Oh. Here we go. Scathatch gallops to you, breathing hard, gesturing quickly. You gather the, you gather that dredge or assaulting from the front gates all the way down to the water's edge. The thunder is go just going to brute force the world. Oh, oddly just talking. Okay, sorry. The thunder. <laughs> Screw it. The thunder! It's the thunder! It's going out of the Top of the whole thing! And this will become our killing field! <laughs> it's your pretty little dog to do too! Alright. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Alright. <clears throat> Bad news from our clansman. I turned them away. <laughs> Many dead or missing. Some to dredge, others to bed line. If you guys know how to use that bedlam stuff, yeah. Uh, could have been worse, but it's going to... It, it's all going wrong since the thunder showed up. Let, let's just put it that way. Okay. That's not too bad. Terrified villagers scream at the sight of dredge breaching the wall, and mobs of people crush together, trying to escape in any direction they can. Gather anyone who can hold a weapon! We travel down the wall, pushing back the dredge until those barrels are ready! Ready! Ready to slip through the 
ashes on the wall, like dark blood from Lucy Blue. Be smart about it and don't get reckless. We clear them out here. Then move on to the next bridge. Yep, this one's on this one. Come on. We got this. They're going down. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, gosh. Okay.
Get him, Big B. Get him. Of course. Yep. Okay. All right. Ooh. Your numb arms remind you of chopping lumber back in Skover, but with more blood and fear involved. Other men fill in the gaps where you've moved on. Holding the dredge at bay is easier work than pushing them back. More trouble further down the wall beckons, and there is no time to rest. Five hundred and ninety four clansmen, then freaking two hundred to do that. Oh come on. <laughs> Dangerous uh, mob of 
dangerous size is gathering ahead at the harbor. You can see the bobbing mass of ships lurching from the harbor, heavy with people. Petrus swears. If sailing away was an option, we would have done it by now. The seas are poisoned like everything else around here. No doubt the serpent's blood. Oh, wait, wait. Spits no doubt in the serpent's blood. It chews away the wood, and the fish are dead. There's nothing out there but death. Take them apart for lumber. Hey, yeah, let's do that. Petrus reluctantly gives the order. Many hopeful passengers, desperate or drunk, unwillingly back down to the city guards. Uh, eventually, Petrus, Petrus, yeah, Petrus men give up trying to stop all the ships from departing, but manage to pull aside a few for lumber to help reinforce the walls. You move on, worried that you've already taken too much time. A woman catches your eye amongst the crowds. Her gold cloak stands out. Nid? Nid looks away as you approach, but knows you've seen her. She drags two boys along by the wrist toward the harbor. I'm leaving. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Let's see here. Uh, there's more safe out there. There's nowhere safe in here. Uh, you realize that her eldest boy is missing and can make a solid guess why. He's gone. How did it happen? He's not gone, he's dead. I don't blame you or myself. I don't even blame the dredge. Who is to blame for all of this? Do you know? Nobody can tell me. I just don't want to be here anymore. Anywhere but here. She pushes past, having said her piece. Nid, wait. I've known cowards that are not one of them. This isn't about... She stops mid-sentence. She looks down at her boys, and her expression softens. This isn't about me, is it? Sometimes I wish it were. Wouldn't things be so much simpler? I envy my parents. The most they had to worry about was getting their children to eat eggs. Every parent wants to give their children a better life than they had. But my boys will never have that chance. Not unless I make one for them. You're right. I'm no coward. Ned pushes back the hair from her eyes and follows you away from the docks. Mm. Yes! Thank you so much! Ah, oh, I'm so glad I picked that right. Oh. Families, elderly, and children are still pressed up against the walls in staggered numbers with no room to spread out. They're caught in the midst of the marauding bridge. We can't just leave them to fend for themselves, Odlib says. You wonder what choice you have. Everyone caught in the onslaught, but 
Many unarmed townsfolk scramble uh, to relative safety behind your shields and continue on with your caravan. Yay, morale improved. Splitting your time between helping people and fighting dredges, taking its toll, but something else feels wrong, a different kind of wrong. Petra slows you with a hand on your shoulder. Remember those powerful men in Arborang we talked about? I think they've decided to make their move. This is one everyone's so afraid of, sneers a man with a face tattoo. I remember seeing him amongst Ruga's loyalists. A few dozen grizzled fighters have blades drawn, and you notice they wear the crests of many different houses. Dogs! Leave them to me! Uh, Petrus says, mustering his guards. Ruga's stink is all over this place. Oh, oops. Go make him this, end this now, or it'll keep happening. Do whatever it takes. All right. I'll get to Ruga after I deal with this one. Don't go easy on me, Petrus. <laughs> Petrus nods. Oh, I won't. Believe me. I've been waiting for this. Ah. Yep. Alright, so what am I doing now? Ah, here we go. We're gonna go up. Nice little chip chip. You crash fiercely through Ruga's cell door, grabbing his full attention. This has to end now! There are people dying by the minute to asunder, the walls falling as we speak, and still, still, your clansmen fight against us. I don't deserve all the credits. There are many players in the game. This is no feigned board game! From what feels far away, bells toll above the din of the carnage outside. What are those bells? Tradition. A shame I didn't get to see the blue smoke that goes with it. I've been dreaming of this day. Minal. Finally dead. Sounds like you need me now, more than ever. Are you kidding me? You've lost your only... Why should we even let you live now? Lass, Minoff died days ago. He just didn't know it. That poison had no cure. When I learned the menders were forbidden from touching the mind, I found a supple, suitable venom. He died in his sleep, dreaming the most horrific visions. Also, I've been told. Yeah, I'm not gonna uh, say that. You guys can just read that. Uh, yeah. uh, have you ever witnessed a city turn hungrily upon itself? Like a starving wolf eating its own cubs? I actually have seen a starving wolf eat its own cubs. So. Uh, have you ever witnessed the rape? slaughter and torture of thousands and the sounds and the smells of it oh it's just so refreshing <sighs> i have and i've been told i'm a very yeah, yeah right oh and when the that chaos blows over the edge there is no cure just like model should i die you will see these things for yourself. I promise you that. So maybe now, you will listen carefully to what I want. Nope, I'm just gonna, yeah, pummel him. You don't pull your punch. Ruga's head swings back as if on a hinge. He is no longer smiling. 
Do you know why I do this? Do what? You piece of trash. Deceive. Leech on mankind. Why I speak on behalf of the people you despise so much. Why I have always done so. Because they will always be here. No matter how hard you pretend, they don't exist. There is nothing more infuriating or terrifying than not being heard. So they give me their power. I am the will of the people. As long as that's true, you can't brush me aside. I will always be here. Yeah, but there's enough minds for one lifetime to stay here and run. Oh. Man, I so badly just want to kill him! Ah, oh, I just want to kill him so bad. Mm, but, you know, killing him would be too easy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you won't come back from this one. Yep, you bludgeon Ruga mercilessly laying into him again and again with your fists. He chokes on blood as you continue. Wait! What if he's right about arboring turning on itself? S stop! He's unconscious! Hmm. He's lucky you're here, Autumn. I wouldn't put it that way. You feel that you feel the heat coming off your face as you drop Ruga's limp body to the floor. Leaving the body behind, an excited man meets you at the door. They're ready with the barrels! Minus 11 supplies. Okay. I want to kill him so, so bad. Luden! There you are. I wasn't sure where you went after the bells. I was with him when he died. He did not go easily. But you get the distinct feeling their time together was strange. I, I thought we should uh, clear the air about. Good. Being the king now. Believe me. I've been thinking a little bit of that house. But if you're worried about me seizing control, don't be. As far as I'm concerned, nothing changes. Your banner is yours. The Vile and the Horseman Horseborn, make their own decisions. If you'd like, we can discuss it further. Luden waits quietly for your response. such thing. Or not long ago there was no such thing. We still cling to these banners because men follow deeds, not blood. My father wanted to change that. I've come to disagree. Don't look so surprised. It's just that you're, you had certain reputation, Prince Luden. What changed? Traveling with you. Seeing how people live. I know it sounds cliche. For a long time, I was jealous of how others looked to you instead of me. But over time, what kind of sane person wants to point themselves as the one to tell others how they should live? You did it out of necessity, not privilege. It's a burden I don't envy anymore. It never feels like we've changed until we look back at what idiots we used to be. Some of us, anyways. But we've all been through some changes, haven't we? Luden waits quietly for your response. I'm sorry your father has passed. I suppose I am as well. I know that sounds strange. There was always a sharp edge to him. He wanted to be a ruler, not a leader. 
if you catch my, the difference. I always remember this feeling he'd give, that he truly believed he deserved to rule men. I think passing it down to me was just a way to continue glorifying himself. Was his change of heart with the refugees a surprise to you? Was it a real change of heart, or did he hope to? it would encourage me to take the throne? Or well, the crown in this case. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I've chosen my own path. What do you intend to do now? I still have some privileges as Marnoff's son. I intend to use them. When they learned of the darkness, my father ordered every mender in Manahar to arm. They still answer to me. I intend to find a solution that will protect us from the darkness. How's that going? Like a fat man coming home from the mead hall. Oops, I just said that. <laughs> Oops, my bad guys. Slow and stumbly. Oh yeah, yep. The menders are little more than bricklayers and nurses. To be honest, the Volca are another story. But they all stayed in Manahar against my father's wishes. Nobody knows what they've been up to, but I hope our goals are the same. We can't exactly go and check. Still, at least someone is working on it. Yep. I'm glad you found me, though. It was good to talk. Listen. If I wanted to rule now, it would be a struggle. Arboring needs fewer struggles, not more. And fewer people trying to rule. What about when this is all over? Arboring still needs a leader. I'll consider leadership another time, maybe. It will be the decision of the people. And right now, they look to you. The smart ones, anyway. Let me worry about the Mendes for now. It sounded like they're ready to go against the ruin. I'll gladly stand with you in the fight if you need me. We both. You imagine a resemblance between the two uh, you hadn't seen before, but you leave it in unsaid and turn your thoughts to the battle to come. Right, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Upgrade some of these guys. Okay, oddly, yes. Promotion. 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 As far of a promotion I can get out of you. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to do this too. Um, yeah, three point of strength. Damage on target on. Eh. Last two rounds. Let's do. Should I do blood letter on her? Ah, uh, I really don't know. Let's do strength on kill. Hmm. Mm, oath maker. Uh, and armor regeneration. Plus two, twenty percent crit. Yes, oath maker. Okay. Well, that just means we get to put. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Get that in there. <laughs> yeah, she needs that so badly. Uh, yep. And there we go for that one. What do we got here? Okay, that one's maxed out. And. What? Okay. Confirm. Still got three more points. Um, yeah, let's do that. And okay, that'll be it for her. Uh, canary. Yeah. Yep, just had enough to get that in there. All right. Uh, all right. Good. Full on twelve and sixty. All right. Good. 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 
All right, so we got a 14 and 11. Yeah, we're kicking booty now. Um, let's get. We're gonna get up there. Um, uh, jeez. Uh, I totally forgot all about that. I, yeah, there we go. All right, all right, all right. We're good. Now. We're good. We're good. have been wrapped around the, the barrels of oil and horse borne weight at the ready, prepared to deliver them at a moment's notice. Scafich, Scafic trots nervously atop the walls. That must be every oil barrel in the city, Oddly says, looking at the full nets. Couldn't have gotten half this many without the barn. Ursa is preparing several archers with flaming arrows. She looks the happiest you've ever seen her. Let's hope this works. The anchor comes again. Dark street. The horse born are already gone, pulling along the netting. Where the obsidian hook punches through the wall. And they heave the barrels over. That catches and is pulled back toward ruin. Now, shouts Ursa. Licks of fire flip through the air like fireflies buzzing into the night sky, gently floating down, down. Ursa rips into the battlefield, rattling the earth and engulfing the thunder, blowing dirt and dust into the sky. Tears erupt spontaneously all the way down the wall. Even the dredge have stopped their assault to watch. Is it done? You, is it done? You wonder. As the dust finally thins, you see ruin rising, staggering, cheering, dies, and throws. She's wounded! Oddless cries. We have to finish it now! Come! You hear shouted from the ground below. Canary flings her hair back and smiles, her horse born look ready to run. We go quickly. Oddly stifles an ecstatic gasp when she realizes what Canary intends. You scramble onto a horse born backs, soon finding yourself racing through the hordes of dredge you would have crashed against on foot. Oh. But the dredge come in endless waves, eventually slowing you to a crawl. They surround you from all sides until you can see our Till all you can see are black stone and yellow eyes. Over your shoulder, you hear the heavy clang of metal and black armor, and the varl shove past with their fire, the fire in their eyes. Up, hunter! We'll find the path this time! Hack on crows. And over the din of battle, a drumming rhythm draws your attention. To your sight, a cloud of dust is rising, approaching swiftly until it collides with the army of dredge, tossing bodies into the air. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Boom. Boom. Boom, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I got it now. Yay. Oh, that's good, just be. Could this be? Oh, it just could. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Papa Chupa, Tapa Chupa, Tapa Chupa, Tapa Cha.
else is that? I haven't swung a hammer in a century, but that doesn't mean I have forgotten how! It's Ube.
on the now. Come on. Uh, well. thing that we did then. Uh, yeah. I kinda wanna finish him just to see what happens. Just in case I end up dying again, I can always come back to this one. You drop Ruga and feel his neck snap beneath your boot heel. 
better or worse it's done as you depart an excited man runs to me okay yeah sweet awesome oh, I got plus five or now for now Everything he says, we're gonna go through everything. <laughs> we're just gonna do it in rapid succession. Oh. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I need to level up. Um. Petrus, that's what I needed. I needed Petrus. Now we need to <laughs> level these guys up still. Uh, yeah, no, we need to level her up. So it really helps. And we're gonna give her. Not that thing. Um. Plus 30% crit, never miss with no edges. That's a perfect match right there, okay. That, we can get this. We can also get that fully upgraded. We can also get, that's already fully upgraded. Uh, how about, uh, how about, down. Yeah, let's get that too. She is perfect. Alright. Level 14. Yep, level 14. Uh, what, what does she have again? on her? Plus 20% crit chance. Plus 30. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Set to go. Set to go. this ready for battle <laughs> yeah again again mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I haven't swung a hammer in a century, but that doesn't mean I have forgotten how!
more than anything else that gets to kill him. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta go after Ruin, no matter what, and do the do. Yep. Let the tales tell that you, a humble hunter from a small forest town, stood against him, but two sides. Now Ruin lies dead. Reg, keep their distance as you limp back to the city. 
people of Arborang watch silently from behind the walls, afraid to believe what they see. Suddenly, cheers ring out around you, rising into a chorus of adulation. Even if a few dour cleansmen stare with hard eyes, most likely Ruby's loyalists. They're chanting your name, public friends. You reply, only because they don't know your result. <laughs> Hours pass since the siege. You find all the found ramparts looking out into the distance. The darkness sure seems a lot closer than before. Ruin appeared. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you something. Looking back on the last few days, have I been acting too recklessly? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'd say she has been awesome. Oh wow, uh, no, <laughs> I wouldn't have you any other way. Um, yeah, taking charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of want to say this one, but I want to say this one. That means a lot. The stakes are so high, it's hard not to second guess yourself. I've never regretted giving you the banner, but it's a struggle to stay silent. I feel like I'm the only one arguing with stubborn men for the greater good. If I dare show the same sort of confidence, well, they have words for women like that. It wears you down. Aren't we all fighting for the same thing? If Juno doesn't make it, after everything we've been through, you hear the shuffle of a large footstep story. Nothing's changed. We'll deal with whatever comes. Keep hope. You look many. Look at how many survived us under today. Thanks to our efforts. Be glad for that. Speak for yourself, Uber. How did you get the horseborn tribes to leave Dullalon? Ah, well, when you learn someone's language, you can speak to them, you see. I wish there were more like you, Uber. It's a long story, friends. A long story. But the short of it is that the dredge are also in the south. As many as here. You look over the wall's edge, where the dredge have withdrawn in the absence of ruin. They mill aimlessly. Mm. Oh, they still got the numbers to overrun us. I just appreciate it when we <laughs> Why, yeah, why just give up? They've got the numbers to overwhelm us. I'm not sure they were ever into this fight to begin with. I think we're all looking for some peace right now. Even the bridge. Damn them. The silence is almost worse than the fighting. A new sound slowly begins to take place. A warbling moan that fills you with unease and makes your hair stand on end. Should we be worried about this? I don't know. They're just standing there. It's almost as if they're crying. This is worse. This is worse than the silence. Maybe they've just... Maybe they're just feeling the pressure a little sooner than Darkness doesn't care who's side you're on. Oh jeez. Yeah, that's uh that's getting pretty close there. Ugh. 
and all the way in here in the purplish piece of darkness. The purplish pink of darkness. The pink is purple. Oh, yep, see the Look out! Still need to sleep, Volka blurts. Mind you know, you haven't rested since leaving Strong. If I know Volver, that's what he's waiting for. He's going to tire us out before bringing down the other acts. He replies. Since I cannot sense the warped approaching, we will rest a little and light. One aggro, plus two move, plus three exertion. You know what? This is a perfect place to stop right now because I am tired. <laughs> I really, really need to take a power nap right now. Oh, because my, my eyes are just, ah. Oh. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to stop right here. I'm going to take a break. I got to do some stuff on the, uh, I gotta make a call, I gotta do that stuff, I gotta do this stuff, you know, I got, I just got stuff that I need to take care of before I come back to this. Alrighty, well, I'll see you guys later, and, uh, hope y'all had a great time watching me get my butt handed to me. <laughs>